In this video, we are going to demonstrate some example interventions for patients with a movement control dysfunction, according to Luo Mayoki. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. In our previous video, we talked about the six-item movement screening tool by Luo Mayoki to identify movement control dysfunction in patients with nonspecific low back pain. If you are not familiar with the test battery, click the little info icon in the top right corner and watch that video first. So, some patients will have more difficulties controlling movement into either flexion, extension or in a lateral shift or rotation as identified during the testing procedure. As the back problems are linked to a specific movement direction, the treatment is often identical to the test from the battery. Now, here are some examples to improve movement control during flexion activities. The goal is that the patient disassociates lumbar spine flexion from activities involving hip flexion or knee extension, for example. Therefore, the sitting knee extension or waders bow, regular squats and backward rocking are some simple interventions. Optionally, a tape can be applied over the lumbar spine to provide feedback to the patient once they start flexing the lumbar spine. Pretty much the same principles apply to retraining extension control. The goal is to extend the hip joint whilst keeping the lumbar spine neutral or flex it in the opposite direction. The posterior pelvic tilt can be trained in different positions such as supine hook lying or standing. Furthermore, the prone knee bend or forward rocking in four-point kneeling position are ideal interventions. You could also progress to something like bridging. For rotational control, the patient tries to maintain a neutral pelvis in side bending or single leg stance, for example. Clamshells in side lying position or hip rotation in prone lying can further challenge the patient's rotational control over the lumbar spine. Okay, this was our short insight into possible interventions for movement control dysfunction. If you like this video, you may want to check out our video on the Higgs CPR for lumbar stabilization by a click on the video right next to me. As always, please like and subscribe, follow us on various social media pages, and if you can, support our channel on Patreon. Links are in the description down below. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.